What is up, YouTube? I have a garden update. Um, what I've been doing, I just, uh, since I don't have a tiller, um, I'll take a shovel and I'll go through and turn up the soil. Um, I already did both of these beds. I got this one split off in fours. But with what I got, I made do half here and half there. I don't know. This is going to be a... Uh... Y'all may not hear it, but there's a bee or something down in here. <laughs> yeah, there's a bee stuck in that pipe. <laughs> but, you know me. Open it, I'm sure I'll be in here in a minute. But this first bed is going to be my corn. I'm going to do my corn in here. Um, I don't know how I'm going to split this off yet. Um, I'll go down there and get all my seeds and show you what I got for them. I think these two beds is going to be green beans and uh, uh, I don't know yet, but anywho, I went to Home Depot, got some uh, miracle Grow Natural Care organic based bed soil, uh, no mixing, blah, blah, blah. Whatever OMRI is, I'll have to look that one up. That's a new one on me. Um, it's got alpha, alpha meal, bone meal, earthworm castings, and kelp meal. Hell to the yeah! I didn't even read that when I bought it, so. The, fill the bed. Plant away. Water time. Yeah! But I'm just getting my soil ready. Um, here. Let's come to the seeds. This is the route I'm going this year. Um, also at Home Depot got this little, uh, um, what is it like, an incubator, greenhouse. Um, it's got these little discs. Put your seeds in. And I'll you gotta get them wet and then place your seeds in them uh, and then they grow up, pop up, start sprouting and you put that in the dirt. Yay! So we're gonna see how that goes. Um, this is gonna be a trial um, because I've never done the, nothing like this before. Um, I've always just either um, started my seeds by putting them in a paper towel, in a sandwich bag, that method. Um, or I was just stuck them right in the dirt and watered them well. So we're going to see how this goes. Uh, for my seeds this year, I got some Ashley Cucumbers. Um, we'll see how they go. Um, everything I got here is non-GMO, USDA, organic. So they're heirloom seeds. All of them. Got some uh, provider snap bean. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is a new one on me. Uh, this is my first year. I'm going to grow some uh, bell peppers. Uh, Carolina Wonder Sweet Bell Peppers. So, we'll see how they turn out. And another new one this year, I'm going to do some sweet corn. It's Ashworth Sweet Corn. And again, I'm going to try some more carrots again. Last year, uh, I think I knew what it was. Um, the dirt has to be really, really fine. No obstructions in there. Blah, blah, blah. And I grew them right out of the ground. So I'm going to try it in that 
uh, seed disc first, see how that goes. Um, I have a little bit of uh, tilling up here to do still. Um, the grass needs to be cut. I'll get that uh, before I uh, start actually putting stuff in the ground because um, I'm still waiting for it to warm up a little bit. Yesterday and a couple of days before it was real cold, so I know under the ground still a little chilled. Uh, I'm going to weed eat all that out, cut all this down. It all looked real good. Um, my compost box, uh, I ran out of boards to finish it up. I got a piece of plywood in there. I'm just going to stick in here. So that's where it's going to stay, though. Um, I've already been picking a few things myself, getting it ready. Um, but put you all on the tripod. And all I'm going to do is, uh, so I got this little bit right here, and I think that's all I got. I was just going to show you all how I do it, because I don't have a tiller, um, trying to get one, but the motor's locked up, so I don't know how bad it is internally. You'll know where I've done this because you can see how wet the mud is. And this is all dirt. So that's why we're going to put some... Uh, what I'd like to do is try to put half and half and use some more in the beds over there, half and half. But we'll see. It's not an exact uh, not going to be an exact measurement, but, but you know, ballpark it out half a bag there and half a bag in your other bed. They had a sale too up there at Home Depot. These bags were uh, originally $12.99. They're on sale. Got them for $10 a piece or uh, two for ten. Hush now. And uh, that uh, little greenhouse was uh, she was only like five bucks or something like that. So all right. All there is to it is just to work it in, kind of roughly spread it out. I've had some old pumpkin seeds, and so I hope they don't try to grow up in here. I mean, I have to pull them out, but oh, there's that root. I got one root in there. That'll be mixed up good. I know y'all can't see because of the sun issue, 
Uh, but we'll have a good sun this year, huh? Other than that branch right there, I gotta get that cut down somehow. Um, it's gonna be more or less over my sweet corn, about anywhere between, oh uh, shoot, three and four o'clock. The sun will be right there for about an hour. But, uh, I don't know how much time I'll have. I don't really care about the time. Uh, with this memory card already, I'm down to just under 15 minutes. I had to get my rake. Cause once you, uh, I should have had this out here already, you know. That sun horrible for y'all. Alright, once you get it turned up, just... Smooth it out. And I don't know if I said this before in any of the other garden videos, but this dirt, I don't know what it is about Rome, Georgia, but there is shitloads of glass. Like, I bet you I got a hundred dollars worth of scrap and glass. white things in there are eggshells, so nobody's asking what that is. Prime example. See that PVC glass? And it's all riddled like that. Well, um, I guess I could water it. It did just rain yesterday, day before, yesterday, something like that. So I don't think I really need to water it. Um, Put this bag in the other bag. And then... Same thing to this one. Spread it out. And they gotta be a science. Just mix it. This dirt, I'm pretty sure, is pretty lacking of nutrients. So, try to give it a little bit of a heads up, so to speak. See how easy this dirt is. And then just throughout, since last year, since I made the bed, I've just been working the dirt. What people feel, fail to realize is that this method of living, and I'm only an amateur, amateur, so I'm not trying to be somebody high and mighty, but these methods right here is going to come back to us. At some point... In human civilization, 
we are going to have to go back to our uh, was it the Neanderthal? Back to that. And this dirt has a lot of worms as well, so I'm happy about that. And then, uh, Get the rake back out again and it looks all nasty right now with all the grass and shit growing around it, but it'll look good, y'all. Try to do a, a week by week update. Uh, Looks pretty good. Well, I can't get this day. But, uh, I may have to go upload a video off of the uh, SD card before I get onto this. So I got seven minutes. Before I do that bed, let's uh. Oh, Y'all hold on. I got knocked out by the swing set. Let's see. Here. Probably should <coughs> get something to uh, label them, huh? Get a sharpie. Or I could probably just strip this. Oh. I might do that. I got a sharpie up here? Yeah, I got a sharpie. Alright, there's that. Um. The professional way to start seeds or cut or cutting indoors? Okay. Um. So we gotta add some water first to get them wet and gushy and mushy. I'll see that. What I'm going to do. I'm going to put water on the pellets so they'll expand. Now, I'll let that soak up.
to, uh... They're actually... Do you see how... Can you see that? They actually puffed up really, really quick. Like, I think I need to add some more water. Like, I was expecting that to take like a good five minutes. I thought I was going to run out of time here, but... Uh, let's, uh... That's too much I can always empty out, but... Man, them things are still growing. There's... Y'all see that? That stuff is awesome so far. Well, I'm gonna have to uh, go uh, upload another video to make more room to finish out uh, today's project. So, but that is really, really cool. I want to get some um, name tags written out for each row. Um, let's see here, I got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I have, I'll do a row of each. Um, I think then um, I'm going to put some in some pots and uh, start it that way too, the old fashioned way that I've done. And we'll see how that turns out. But man, I'm really impressed with that. Maybe in the focus if I zoom out, huh? But that thing there, I guess you just put your seed. I'll try to make the hole more in the center there. But stick your seed right down in there. So I have one row left over, right? Two, four, five, and I have another this whole row. So that's two, four, six. I may, I don't know, whatever I want to try more of. We'll see. Um, I may not use them at all. I, yeah, I better use them and not use them at all, huh? All right, YouTube. Um, I'm gonna go upload, and then we'll let them do their thing. You know, put the seeds in. And then, this goes over the top of them. So that's really, 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 really neat how they did this. But, alright YouTube, stay tuned.